weight loss pills are a scam. How do I know that without even having weight loss pills in my hand? Okay, let me explain. So, <clears throat> snake oil salesmen, have you ever heard about those, right? So they sell you something that's supposed to solve a problem and then it turns out that it doesn't really help you or maybe it has the so-called placebo effect that, okay, it helped you to some extent, but you don't know whether if it is because of the compound that it contains or because you just thought it's gonna work, so you put in more effort and then you have got some type of results. But what about weight loss pills? What are even weight loss pills? So majority of these products, these supplements are just basically thermogenic fat burners. And what the hell is thermogenic fat burners? So they alter your body composition, your oxidative stress in a way that, okay, you burn more calories per hour and they might be affected before a cardio workout or for example, before a resistance training session, gym session, whatever, lifting dumbbells, doing CrossFit, so whatever you prefer, you might burn more calories per hour that way. And how much more calories? So most of these thermogenic fat burners don't really add to the total amount of calories that you burn a day. They would won't prevent you from eating that big sugary donut, right? they won't help you change your habits and they won't go to the gym instead of you. So do they really help? So that little marginal increase in the amount of calories burned, is it really worth it, right? To waste your money in these useless fat loss supplements? I don't think so. However, I'm happy to show you my favorite weight loss pills and my favorite drugs for weight loss. But what do I mean by drugs, right? Here, so. My number one and most favorite out of them all is DMT. And no, I'm not talking about that hippie shit, ayahuasca and, and all this stuff. For, for DMT, I especially mean daily movement targets, right? How much do you move a day? How many steps are you taking? Or how many meters are you swimming? Or whatever activity you prefer, you should have a goal in mind that no matter what, it is a non-negotiable for you and you can always, always complete it. So, this should be something that you could keep consistent with even in your busiest periods, right? So if there is a high season in your business, if you are selling your home and moving out or you're traveling all year round, you're still able to keep your word, you keep your promise and to keep your DMT, so your daily movement target, right? So generally I would say if you can do six to 8,000 steps per day, you will be doing good and you will be able to boost your metabolism and lose fat faster. If you can do more than that on every single day of the year, basically you are set for life and your fat loss transformation will go much faster. But that's not the only drug I use. Right, this is only one of those. So, number two is protein. And instead of showing you a whey protein supplement, here we go with some cheese. If you watch my videos regularly, I have a very good tutorial about how to open it, in case you wouldn't know. Because that's what I like about YouTube, is an infinite library of knowledge. It's like a free university. You can always find something or someone who teaches you how to do certain stuff. So if you haven't seen my how to open cheese grandiose video yet, I really recommend it. It's gonna be the most beautiful, I kinda like, I think it's 11? 11 seconds of your life. Anyway, this cheese has already been opened by a sharp gentleman who knows how to open it. So now we have these beautiful low fat slices of Gouda cheese. So what I like about low fat cheese and low fat dairy, they are super high in protein and very low in all the other nutrients, especially fat and very minimal carbs. So it means that you get more protein for less calories. So that's why I say it's not a necessary for weight loss to track calories because if you eat enough protein, you will be satiated enough. And if next to the protein, there is not much of the other macros, now you made sure that you met your calorie targets or you stay below your calorie targets. You can lose weight. You have guaranteed yourself fat loss. You have guaranteed yourself caloric deficit without even having to track that because you have eaten so much protein, there is not much more room left for other things, not much more room left 
for other macros or not much more room left for junk food, right? So basically you can sort it out for yourself without counting calories and I know a lot of you will hate me for this but these are just facts. None of my clients are tracking calories, I don't track calories and I think we all look pretty decent, right? But I respect you if you count calories, okay? Keep wasting your time, that's not a problem, not my problem, not my client's problem. It's just simple facts that you don't need to do that. Okay, now we talked about DMT, now we talked about protein. What is the next drug? Caffeine. And indeed, this is every founder's, entrepreneur's favorite drug or performance athlete's favorite drug. Why? Because it indeed boosts your performance, but no, that's not why we are here for today, right? We're talking about metabolism. And caffeine has been proven to increase the amount of calories that you burn per hour, even at rest. So you can sit on the couch, simply wait for the pounds to melt off of course they won't do that immediately but you will still burn more calories than a person who does not have their metabolism right right or a person who does not consume caffeine in some shape or form it could be a cup of black coffee it could be green tea a caffeine supplement or anything that you can think of but what really matters is that you don't want to take in too much especially not six to eight hours within bed time, right? So make sure that you're aware of this. Caffeine has a half life of six to eight hours. So I do not advise taking any kind of caffeine around three, 4 p.m. Depends on when you go to bed. Just make sure that six hours before bed you cut off any kind of caffeine consumption. But before that, feel free to do that because it boosts your metabolism and puts you into that position that, okay, you don't need weight loss pills to actually boost your metabolism and actually get it spinning, right? And actually burn more calories per hour, right? Okay, so caffeine helps, protein helps, increasing your daily movement targets help. What else helps you? Well, other supplements which are not directly associated with weight loss or fat loss, but they indirectly help you a lot. So one of my favorites is zinc. I don't know how much visible it is, the brand doesn't really matter. This is just basic zinc as a mineral, right? So zinc by itself can be consumed safely 20 to 50 milligrams per day. You can find a lot of zinc in red meat, in oysters, and a little bit of them in eggs as well. But what really matters, it strengthens your immune system. It helps you produce more testosterone and it has two, two benefits, right? Because if you have a strong immune system, you are less likely to get sick, right? You can tolerate those intense workouts, those cardio sessions and so on and so on. So you ultimately over the long term, you will be able to burn more fat, lose more weight because you're less likely to be sidetracked by a sickness, right? Okay. Next up is that it increases your testosterone levels. Testosterone promotes the growth of lean muscle and fat loss, right? So if you have more lean muscle mass and it is promoting fat loss, that means that you're hitting two burns with one stone. So you can recomposition your body. You can go from a fat person with low amount of muscle mass to a slim person with a higher amount of muscle mass. So this should be your ultimate goal because the more healthier your body composition is, the more, the more you can guarantee for yourself you will live a long, happy and fulfilled life. Because you will be functional. You will be functional at your work, your brain will be sharp, you will be functional at the bed, you will be functional as an athlete, you will be functional basically as a person who has physical strength. So it's not just for showing up, not for being a bodybuilder or any kind of like professional athlete, right? It's just for you to perform, look and feel better. And zinc helps you a lot in that. So if there would be a supplement I would say is a number one priority on my list or at least on the list of minerals, I would put there zinc. So zinc helps you with fat loss, but not directly. It doesn't increase the amount of calories that you burn per hour, but it helps you with your testosterone levels, which helps you push down your fat mass. It helps you push down your stress hormone levels, your cortisol levels, and cortisol, it kind of like motivates your body, it incentivizes your body 
to accumulate more fat mass, especially in the stomach area. So if your goal is to reduce belly fat, you want to reduce stress, you want to reduce cortisol, and for that, you want to increase testosterone levels. So zinc is an amazing supplement for that, or zinc as you say it, okay? Depends on where you're from. Uh, all right, again, vitamin C, essential. I take one to two grams per day, that's pretty high dose, but again, it helps me protect my immune system and make sure that I don't get sidetracked with my health goals because I would get sick every second month or every month, right? You don't want to get a flu that often. So, what else? Vitamin D. It indeed helps you with fat loss, with the depletion of fat cells in your body. It also helps you with testosterone levels and immune system. Like, vitamin D is responsible for multiple thousands of different processes in your body. But not to be Dr. Huberman, I don't want to go through all of them in this video, but I just mentioned a few and why you should be taking it every day, especially if you live in a cold country or a country with less sunlight in general. If you happen to live closer and closer to the equatorial areas, of course, well, Vitamin D3 is pretty much unnecessary for you, especially if you get more than 30 minutes of direct sun exposure per day. You don't necessarily have to take vitamin D supplement. But if you happen to leave it in a place where the sun doesn't really shine that often, then you definitely want to take this four to 6,000 international units per day, or even more if you happen to have vitamin D deficiency, right? Okay, let's see what else helps you. Right? Because we talked about daily movement targets. So the DMT. We talked about protein, how it helps you with weight loss and how it is better than fat loss pills. We talked about caffeine. We talked about zinc. We talked about vitamin C, vitamin D. What else? Sleep. The better and the deeper you sleep, the faster you will lose fat. And this is true, true directly and indirectly as well. So let me show you one of my favorite sleep supplements. I do not refer to this one particularly as a weight loss pill or like a fat loss supplement, but this is glycine. You can see it, again, the brand doesn't really matter. I'm not affiliated with any of these brands, but regardless of that, this is true that glycine helps you a lot with falling asleep, staying asleep, and your brain recovery and information processing. So it helps you drive up your REM sleep. REM is the phase of your sleep when you process the information, when you're dreaming, right? Your brain is active and it's easier to learn stuff. It's easier to remember stuff and it's easier to make decisions and to focus during the day if you have a high amount of REM sleep. A high amount of REM sleep means that you are spending at least 22% of your whole night. So your whole night spent sleeping, you spend 22% of that in the REM phase. That would be your goal, ideally. And glycine with chamomile tea helps you a lot with that. Three to 10 grams per day. This is what I would recommend. It's quite a wide range. Feel free to experiment, depending on how long you can sleep, right? Because you don't necessarily have to sleep a full eight hours to have a phenomenal sleep, skyrocketing energy levels the next morning, and great performance at whatever you're doing, right? So for that, simply, all you need is quality sleep and a lot of time spent in the deep sleep and the REM sleep phase. And how does this help you with fat loss, right? Okay, so there are four very important things to remember. The better you sleep, so again, remember, not the more, the better. The better, the deeper, the more efficient you sleep the less hungry you are. Why? Because less hunger hormone ghrelin is being released by your body, right? Secondly, you feel more satiated, so you need to eat less to actually be full. That's because your body produces more leptin, which is the satiety hormone, right? Okay, third reason that you should sleep better if you want to lose fat faster is that you produce more testosterone. And as I said before, Testosterone promotes muscle growth and fat loss at the same time. And guess what? The same processes can be achieved by human growth hormone, which also releases in the largest quantities, meanwhile you sleep. And the more you age, 
the older you get, the more important these hormones become, especially testosterone and GH, so growth hormone, because you naturally tend to produce less and less after the age of 30. So, right, if you're young like me, you can break a couple of rules, right? Because you still have the energy, you will have this energy regardless, at least until you're 25 years old. But after that, what happens is it slowly starts diminishing, right? You can't just play these moves that, okay, you got totally messed up on a Thursday night, and you wake up on Friday and everything is all right. After two hours of sleep, you're crushing it at your business. You are meeting girls in the evening, right? You're, you're crushing an amazing gym session in between and you don't even feel exhausted, right? This doesn't happen when you're 40 years old. You have a more serious career or business to take care of and the family on the side and the kids want to play with you and so on and so on and so on. Lots of moving parts in your life and you're hormonally not as advantaged or protected as your younger counterparts. So it's very important to remember that, okay, you can play with fire for a while, but then if you don't take care of your health and you keep breaking the rules every single, every single day, you, keeping, you keep breaking the rules of biology, then, well, you will be cooked very soon and you don't want to bear those consequences, those medical costs, and that opportunity cost of not being in the best shape and the highest energy levels of your life. Just think about it. Not being able to be present for your family in those qualities that you want to be, right? So it's very important that you take care of this in time. And yeah, circling back to my original thoughts, right? Why weight loss pills are not working? Because increasing your sleep quality is much more important or taking a protein is much more important moving every single day enough is much more important for sustainable fat loss so fat loss that we can sustain for a lifetime right and when it comes to these hormones what i mentioned about your sleep right so the hormones that sleep contributes a lot to these get more and more important as you start aging right so making sure that you're not craving, so your ghrelin, your hunger levels are low. Making sure that you're not overeating, so your satiety, your leptin levels are high. Making sure that it's still relatively simple for you to build muscle and lose fat, so you have a high level of testosterone and high levels of growth hormone. Growth hormone is also being referred to as the fountain of youth. So if you want to keep your youthful qualities, if you want to age slower, you definitely want to sleep better because that will make sure that you produce more growth hormone and ultimately you will appear and feel younger at the same time. You definitely can reduce your biological age. This is something that has been done by many people before and you don't necessarily have to think of that Brian Johnson dude. I mean, honestly, let me show you just one guy who is much more legit and he happens to be my client so let me show you Devin at the age of 46 what he has been capable of just let me find that folder on my phone so here we go it says hmm <laughs> and so many client transformations in this folder I can't even find the one I'm referring to. Just give me a second. Okay, here is Devin. So, believe it or not, this dude over here, I mean this dude, yes, this one, is 46 years old by now. 46. And he looks 36 tops, right? Because he's got his hormones right, completely naturally. So we optimized his sleep, his nutrition, and his training routine in a way that he could keep himself young. He could keep himself in shape. He could get in the best shape of his life after almost half a century, right? In four years, he's gonna turn 50 and he's gonna be in an even better shape by then. So if you think that you're too old, or you need weight loss pills, just forget about these excuses because you do not need. So what you would be spending on weight loss pills, well, spend it on things that actually help. 
So invest that into protein, minerals like zinc, vitamins like vitamin D, vitamin C, right? Invest it into sleep supplements, or for example, devices that help you track your sleep, or for example, a coach who will get one of these devices for you. Easter egg, I'm gonna talk about that later, right? And one more thing, which is kind of self-explanatory, but I wanted to make sure that you're all aware of this, that you hydrate yourself properly, right? So here we got this beautiful aguapana. It's water in Spanish. If you happen to be into learning languages, right? So it's sparkling water. It helps you get full. It reduces your stress and anxiety. The more you reduce your stress, the more you reduce your cortisol levels, the faster you lose fat. And the more water you drink, also the faster your metabolism will be to an extent. Ideally, I would recommend drinking one liter of water for every 20 kilograms or 45 pounds of your body weight, right? So at the end of the day, it's your call, but I would definitely keep this rule, this recommendation. If you cannot drink that amount yet, well, just go gradually. So let's say drink your first liter for the day. And the other day, just add half a liter and just keep climbing up gradually until you reach that level that you drink as many liters as much your body weight is divided by 45 if you measure it in pounds or divided by 20 if you measure it in metrics, so kilograms. So cheers guys, really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did so, subscribe to this channel, like this video, but only if you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, if you think that, okay, this dude is talking bullshit, then feel free to skip, probably this channel is not for you. But if you genuinely enjoyed it, I really appreciate your comments, guys. I really like that lately we have started acting like a community. I get feedback from you and I'm happy to make videos for you. And if you feel like, okay, now I've got an understanding of how fat loss sustainably works even if I'm a busy person, even if I'm an overwhelmed executive, professional, okay? You, com you completely understand that there are systems, but you're a little bit confused how they exactly work, how they could be translated into your lifestyle, how it could be customized, and feel free to book a free call with us down in the description, and we will craft up a game plan for you of how it would look like, how we would take you to below 15% body fat, how we change your body composition and how we would get you to at least 85 sleep scores with the help of the device that we are giving to you to track your sleep, how we would double your energy levels and all this in less than two to three hours per week. If this is something that you would be interested in, book a free call with us and I, as I always do, really encourage you guys to leave your comments, leave your thoughts here. Let's start a civil discussion again just like in my calorie counting video, pun intended. So um, yeah, let me know your feedback, let me know your opinion. It means really a lot to me and I'm happy to make videos for you guys. And if you're ready to change your life in 2024, again, feel free to book a free call. If you are not ready to change your life, if you still want to rely on fat loss pills, if you still think, okay, I will figure it out myself um, after still not figuring it out for 10 years, right? Or if you are not ready to break bank for the only asset that you care about when it's gone, your health, then probably this won't be for you, then don't book the call. But if you're genuinely interested and you feel like, okay, I'm ready for the change, you know, you don't even have to say that, whatever it takes, right? You just gotta be ready. You are already ready. So feel free to book that call. Let's see what we can bring out of this together. So hopefully you can become the next Devin or even better, let's make it a competition. Okay, so thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.